Hi, my name is Pascal Lacaire. I'm the StoryViz artist that worked on the animatic version of the beta intro. So today I'm here to take you on a short tour of the animatic version of the project. First, we'll do a quick overview of the new Odyssey mode in Unreal. Then we'll go through the various ways to interact with the board, shot, and animation timelines that the Odyssey plugin offers. I'll show you a few workflows I use to go from storyboard draft to the final version, including a bit of work on the camera and materials to make the scene pop. And finally, I'll give you a few tips on the export process, conversion of a board sequence over to regular level sequence to add a bit of flexibility into the, uh, the scene management. So let's get to it. Starting from the welcome level, you should already be seeing some animation actors created with the Odyssey plugin. And we'll switch to Odyssey mode to have access to all the brushes and tools uh, that come with the plugin. You also have things like a color wheel, color tab, and palettes you can associate with each, uh, which each animation asset and also a timeline uh, view that shows all the, uh, the layers and allows you to time and pace your drawings when you have a sequence of images. You can work in here. That's also where you can set behavior at the end of a, a cell, a sequence of cell, to be ping-ponged or looped or completely stopped afterwards. You can affect opacity Turn on the uh, onion skinning, but let's have a deep look into that in the actual animatic for beta. To open the full animatic, you can first open the master level for that scene. And that's where you'll see the parties happening. All these animations actors are part of the board sequence which all contain into this uh, level of the beta intro, which is something very important. If you're collaborating with uh, other people like animation that will come afterwards, they want to be able to turn off your storyboards and uh, get rid of that uh, clutter so that they can work in a clean uh, scene. Now to open the, actually, the actual board sequence, you can go over here and open OD beta intro this will open the board sequencer, which is very similar to the uh, regular Unreal sequencer, only this one has been optimized to manage uh, boards, shots, and image planes, all from the same interface. You can preview the sequence by clicking the camera here, and Dory, if you see something weird like this, the big X is actually, the, the red shape is actually the back of another plane that shouldn't be there because we should activate game view to see only the boards that are active uh, during the, the, the required shot. Since that's how uh, Odyssey work to, to have a clean display during uh, runtime. Now from this board sequence view, you can also double click anywhere into a specific shot to drill down its content. So in here we'll have the camera and its two animation actors. Like in here, we see the uh, the layers of beta, all the poses. If we'd like to work on this layer here, we could also activate the the onion skinning, which might not show because we're not in Odyssey mode. But once Odyssey mode is active, all of a sudden we have those goodies. Now, if you ever feel this viewport is a bit crowded to work on animation with the background and everything, you can always pop open the 2D viewport. So this viewport will be ideal for cleanups or, or as here, like using the light table to do some pose matching. This case just proving, hey, this is beautiful. Let's switch to filler. 
add the color palette and give me some red hearts. Now back to this shot, you'll also notice the animation actors can also be animated through a transform track just like any other assets in the sequencer. And same goes for the cameras. But what's really handy is also when you have already a complex uh, camera animation as we have in this shot right here. Where you run forward, jump and slam down. Adding the slam could have been a, a nasty business. But in this case, we can easily use the uh, additive track on the camera animation. Moving those keys around, I can retime it. I can copy it to another uh, camera to reuse. It's super quick. Now, to take a maximum benefit from these camera animation, you'll see some of my planes are attached to the cameras, while some others are detached, so they remain in place when the camera moves. As we see here, if I go into a global view, I select the camera. You'll see it runs with the plane in front of it. And then as soon as you slam down, the plane stays in place and the camera continues. And that's made through using multiple uh, animation planes. As for one where he is running in front of the camera, then the smash happens and this smash is detached from the camera using this uh, detach option here you can also see it through the outliner that these two assets are attached to the camera and all of these are detached but let's also have a look at something that is a bit more subtle and that is animation materials you'll see a folder here we have a few materials i made or modified to better suit the needs of the scene because the default uh, Odyssey material if I take this one here where he's uh, in a low lit environment I can change this to default animation material you'll see it's pretty dark so unless you want to spend time adding lights and doing that extra work you can switch to these emissive materials to bypass the issue. One last thing I'd like to have a look with you is the final output of the scene. As you can see, the board sequence can contain a few things like uh, animation, uh, an audio track, and also skeletal mesh uh, actors to support like animation for, in this case, it's the warehouse door that is open through this animation track and later on closed. But something you might also encounter is that it will refuse some actors, like in this case, a blueprint actor that we had to manage lights, the light manager. If you try to drag and drop it into the board sequence, it will just refuse it. So one way to go about doing this is using converted sequence, which you can use a scripted action here, convert to level sequence. It will convert this whole board sequence to a regular Unreal sequence using shots. It retains the link to the same uh, animation assets. So if you do small modifications like uh, on the, the drawings or, or the timing, it should uh, remain linked. Same for the animation, everything is transferred. But then that allows you to also transfer that to a master sequence and includes intro outro shots like we did for this uh, rendered video here. It's also where I have this light manager blueprint, which I'm using to turn the lights from uh, blue to red when the alarm goes off. And I'm also using it to do that pitch black moment towards the end. From there, you can also access the render queue and adjust the settings as you need. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the project and you get to learn from it and test your own things. Possibilities with the mix of 2D and 3D in the same pipeline is pretty endless. So have fun.